new content is coming sometime this summer to GTA Online. We're going to share our thoughts regarding that, what little we do know. By the way, the video that I made a few days ago going over all this information and Reddit Online information listed below in the description section along with Riley's channel because Riley is joining me for this thoughts video. Hello, Riley. Hello. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to break down exactly what was in that article, our thoughts about everything that was in it uh, pertaining to GTA Online, as well as near the end, uh, the milked, I mean the expanded enhanced edition of GTA 5's release date. Okay, so let's start off at the top with uh, some uh, updates to the modes. All right, so we're going to get a little bit more action with Deadline. We have seven new arenas coming to Deadline, Return of the Shitaro. We have Stunt Racing, a Cunning Stunts event, which features new, eight new stunt races. That is coming a week from now, May 27th. And we're also going to be getting eventually some new Rockstar created survival modes with uh, locations throughout Los Santos and Blaine County. Riley, where would you like to start? I guess we could start with like the deadline mode. I think it'll be all right. It's just going to be probably like, you know, like deadline remix or something like that. So it's probably going to be like that, just same old maps and, and probably just new locations, but it's probably going to be the same mode, nothing new. Yeah, I think this is the one that people are mostly excited for because Deadline's one of the more popular adversary modes in the right. game. And hopefully those seven new arenas will be decent. I know a lot of people like playing Deadline, especially when it's like double money or triple money. Has it ever been triple money? It has a couple times. Okay, yeah. So that's especially when people will jump back into the deadline. But it's an absolutely fun event. Obviously, it has kind of a Tron light cycle theme to it. Now, the other two, Stunt Racing, Cunning Stunts Event, Survivals. The problem I have with these two is the fact that we already have really awesome stunt races and survivals created by the community because both have a creator mode to it. So I feel like it's going to be a lot for Rockstar to develop some new maps that are going to rival what the uh, creator community has already done. Right. I guess the only good thing about these two will be the fact that they're officially Rockstar, so they can actually be double money or triple money compared to the community created ones. So I guess that gives an incentive for people to jump in the Rockstar ones. That's a good point. And another thing is maybe they'll add some new props. Maybe they'll add some new things that stunt racing can do. Maybe they're going to improve the stunt racing as well as survivals one thing that disappointed me about the survival modes that they created uh, last time was the fact that you play as the aliens fighting off uh, like soldiers but i want it to be the opposite i want us to be the npcs fighting off the alien invaders and i would like for them to do crazier survivals like aliens are the clowns or something else entirely just ridiculous survivals because in the creator it's very limited and i'm disappointed by that because for years i asked for a survival creator for gt online but we only got it what maybe what a year ago i think yeah like a year ago and by the time we got it i kind of sort of lost interest and from what others have told me the survival creator leaves a lot to be desired so anyways that's overall our thoughts regarding some of these new uh, modes or variations or additions to previous modes coming to GT Online. I don't think any of these have to be done by an actual legitimate update. I think they can be put into the game by a back door. But at the same time, there's supposed to be more coming to the game. We go by the article right now, quote unquote, fan requested additions, host of new items, quality of life updates, and much more. What are you hoping to get out of that quote from Rockstar? Um, probably new items, I think like clothing, maybe like a new sweater, special events, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Yay. New sweater. <laughs> or something like that. A quality of life update, probably just bugs and fixes. And that doesn't mean much to me nowadays because they don't fix whatever I want them to fix. So, eh. And much more, well, that can mean anything. I think we're both hoping that they actually finally do something about the uh, orbital cannon because that's a quality of life issue along with the uh, god mode problem and a variety of other things in the game. So maybe just maybe Rockstar is actually going to do something about those quality of life issues, but I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Host of new items. I personally hope that we get obviously some new cars because we're getting some new stunt races coming into the game. I hope that we get something for everybody like uh, Riley and some others that kind of like being in the skies. 
some new fighter jets, maybe some new attack helicopters would be nice for the pilots in GT Online. Which uh, aircraft would you like to see the most added to GT Online if you could pick one? I would say, I guess, the F-14 or the F-22. Yeah, those would be nice. One of those two. If it comes to helicopters, just anything, honestly. I don't know too much about helicopters, but I would like to see at least one new. Yeah, me too, me too. I hope that we actually get some decent content for the summer update of GT Online and it applies for everybody. It gives everybody a little something, something. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. Maybe she's right. Maybe it's just going to be like a new sweater or reskins of uh, outfits and clothing items that already exist in the game. So now we're going to move on to something uh, I guess you could say might make up the uh, heart of the summer update to GT Online, what little information we happen to have. It revolves around a new underground car meet. And what it basically says is you're going to quote unquote show off rides free from interference of authorities and other troublemakers, griefers, tryhards, orb spammers. So that implies a potential new property for GT Online that you'll have to purchase in order to do car meets with you and uh, friends and maybe anyone else you happen to invite. Riley, what do you think about that? I think what this is going to be, I think it's going to be uh, like the casino that you don't actually have to buy. It's just like a property where you could just go and just chill with people without actually being orb spam or like you said, griefed. Yeah, well, there's two problems with that. Uh, I guess the public parking of the casino. One, you can't park like in specific spots. So it, it's kind of annoying because it just randomly puts you into a spot. Right. It'd, be, it'd be cool if you had the ability to select spots. And the other is, uh, another issue you brought up uh, before we started recording, was the lighting problem. Yeah, the lighting in the casino was terrible, but I don't know, maybe they'll fix it in this new property. But it makes you wonder why they don't fix the one in the casino in the first place. That's... Yeah, see, that's why I think it makes more sense for Rockstar to create a new like underground property, which is basically like an uber-large, ridiculous size uh, garage. Similar to the high-end apartment garages, maybe you can have different like uh, interior options for it. And of course, they'll charge you a, a lovely uh, penance for it. A few bucks, a few dollars, a few million bucks out of your pocket in order for you to have this location. Maybe you can also uh, have it for additional uh, garage for your own personal vehicles. But you also have like this showcase place I'm envisioning. But I, I don't know. I think that, that if you think about the way Rockstar handles things... I think that logically makes more sense to them to create a brand new property specifically for car shows because car shows have been popular since the beginning of GT Online back in October 2013. So that's something that hasn't really died down in popularity, especially as they continue to add more vehicles to the game. So how much do you think a hypothetical property is going to cost if this if is the way they're going? Yeah. 1.5 million. 1.5 million. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go under you. Little price is right. I'm going to go with uh, 1 million. Plus, there'll be probably some customization options that will jack that price up a, a little bit right. higher as well. But there's also something else that's going to be car themed. This feels like, from what they're promoting, uh, I guess similar to import export in a way, a very GTA Grand Theft Auto feel for Grand Theft Auto Online. High stakes, high action, crews hit the streets to get a hold of the latest vehicles on a hot list. Multi-part robbery missions, precisely modified getaway vehicle, will let be your best weapon going on later this summer. So that could be anywhere from like late June to July, going into August, somewhere in that ballpark. So what do you think about that? I think that it, it could be like Import Exports Part 2, mm -hmm. or like uh, on May or June, like whenever they'll add it. It could be like just contact missions, like Dispatch or Gerald's Last Play or Simian missions. It could just be like seven new missions by contact. Yeah, they haven't added anything this year in terms of contact missions, though. No, they haven't. I they usually at this time of day, they usually add it you know, by now. True. I think that it could very well be Import Export, too, because that's something a lot of people have been wanting is like newer vehicles added to Import Export. What better way to facilitate that than with an Import Export 2 electric boogaloo? and they just revive and revamp import export and that's another thing a lot of people have been really wanting is for an event week for gt online for them to go back to doing like a double money opportunity for import export but they haven't done it in forever yeah it's been a couple of years 
So that they do it, it's just like 1.5. Yeah, so I really don't know how this is going to play out. By the way, if you have any thoughts, any views, any opinions about anything we're talking about, feel free to leave it below in the comment section. Check out Riley's video. It's in the description section of the channel. So modified getaway vehicle, your best weapon, your thoughts about that? Uh, I don't really think <laughs> it's going to be anything. I think it's just going to be like a good supercar and then it'll be blown up by one missile. Maybe armored supercars that can take one or two missiles then get blown up. <laughs> Probably. I doubt it. See, the funny thing is, as you and I both know in, in uh, GT Online, uh, a modified getaway vehicle isn't really going to do much against a broomstick or a, a fighter jet, an attack helicopter, or an orb yeah. cannon. <laughs> I think what this is, what they mean by modified is just the original stuff like brakes, turbo, transmission. Probably. Or, but it's just going to be your normal stand-up supercar. Yeah. It'll be blown up by one missile. It's very possible, unfortunately. And the way that this is like written... You could be right. It could be contact missions because obviously you and I both know that a modified getaway vehicle wouldn't stand a chance in a public lobby, but in a contact type mission right. against just NPCs, no, oh, of course you have It'll a chance. Yeah, yeah, but then, you, like you said, you take it to a public session. No. <laughs> It'll disappoint you. Oof. Big maybe. For all we know, it could be an extremely good armored supercar. That's, but I doubt it. that's something people have been wanting. They've been wanting armored supercars, and we have yet to get any. So, right. so that that makes logical sense. Maybe they're gonna add some uh, upgrades to current existing vehicles, like I don't know, Vaca Custom or uh, you know, any of the other vehicles that are supercars, just like custom versions that you can upgrade a little bit more, more interior options, simpler, similar to the low riders, and maybe you know increase that armor capability to make them a little bit tougher and withstand a few rockets from a broomstick or other vehicles in the game that happen to have a few weapons on them. So it's interesting what little information we do have leads to a lot of uh, speculation, some hopes, some dreams. All of it probably led to uh, disappointment, but I feel like that we're going to most likely also get some new vehicles, hopefully better than the vehicles we got in the Kyle Preco heist update because a lot of them were not very good. Yeah, most of them were bad. Yeah, they were. <laughs> I felt like they were at the bottom of the barrel. So Basically. Rockstar, you need a new barrel. Okay, so the final thing we're going to talk about is GTA 5 Milked, I mean, Expanded Enhanced Edition. We officially have a release date. November 11th, 2021, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Plus, there's going to be a standalone version of GTA Online, similar to Red Dead Online. And for uh, everyone that has a PlayStation 5, you're going to have a three-month window to get GTA Online for free. So that's good for players that have GTA 5. Maybe by November you'll finally have a PlayStation 5. Maybe. maybe. At this point, we can only hope. So what do you think about Enhanced Expanded Edition to GTA 5 coming November 11th? What I think is, at least at the beginning when you first get the game, it's just going to be GTA 5 on um, PS5 with just like PC graphics, basically. Yeah. That's pretty much it, what it's going to be. And I'm sure they'll just have like quality of life changes. And that's pretty much it. That's what I'm thinking. Just quality of life with PC graphics. What I'm hoping for is that obviously it looks really, really good on uh, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S with everything that the, the consoles have to offer. I also hope that they do some upgrades to the world of GT Online, especially when it comes to the vehicles. It's something we were talking about last night right. when you came across some Pantos. And the last time... They actually upgraded some of the vehicles in GTA Online was with the 2014 version of GTA 5 for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So maybe they're going to do the same thing because almost all the vehicles in uh, GTA Online, specifically in the world of GTA Online, very dated. GTA 5 is different because that world is set mostly in 2013. It exists in 2013. But GTA Online has kind of advanced its timeline forward. And I feel like that if that's true, then Rockstar needs to revamp the traffic for the most part. Add some newer sports cars, newer muscle cars, newer supercars to... New you know, road, yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, obviously their concern is they don't want people to steal them and dupe them. So don't expect the brand new, new supercars to be added. Maybe supercars from at least a year ago back. Why, like an XA21, maybe a pariah on the street? Yeah, something like that. Of course, they're going to make safeguards in place to make sure that players can't steal them. Of course, that won't stop some from trying. But if they go, maybe like vehicles that are 
at least one or two years old in the game right. from previous updates to at least give the streets of Los Santos and throughout the rest of Southern San Andreas a, a newer feel, vibe to it. Not the same vehicles we've seen for, what, going on seven, eight years now? Pretty much. <laughs> for, the, for the most part. But honestly, I wish I could say I was excited for the milked edition of GTA V. I'm not, unless they do something that just completely catches us off guard, like including no expansions, like expanded. That's what I think when it says expansion. So maybe they add the uh, story modes that they were going to originally add to GTA V. Finally, they finish them for Michael Trevor Franklin. Maybe that's included. Maybe a, a finished version of uh, North Yankton for us to go to in GTA Online. And maybe, dare I dream, a version of uh, Liberty City. One other thing that they did mention that I would like to go over at the end is that they're going to pay homage to the uh, 20th anniversary of GTA 3, which is going to be October 2021. So what do you think that they're going to add potentially, hypothetically, to pay homage to the 20th anniversary of GTA 3 for GTA Online? Probably just Claude's outfit. There you go. That's it. <laughs> yeah, Claude's outfit. I don't know, maybe some vehicles that exist in GTA 3, like the, the stallions that the Diablos use, the black stallions with the flames. So maybe they'll add those stallions for you to buy. There's a few other vehicles from, and a few other characters from GTA 3 that they could add outfits from to pay homage to GTA 3. But it'd be funny if they actually did like a like a D-res graphically just for fun and made the world of uh, like GTA Online look like GTA 3. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> the amount of people that, pe that will complain from that alone. People will complain about anything, though. I That's mean, true. even if they just did it for fun, like the snow days, right? I doubt they would even go to that trouble. They're actually going the opposite way, obviously, with the enhanced expanded or expanded enhanced milk edition of GTA 5 GTA online final thoughts before we wrap up I think this will be a very lackluster update I think it's just gonna be quality of life just some cars some modes here and there and that's pretty much it I'm not expecting anything too much out of this world I'll, I'll probably have some fun with like the cars or something yeah I'm kind of feeling the same way obviously the different modes we talked about deadline more exciting, I think, than the other ones that they're going to be updating. Stunt racing, along with the new survivals. I feel like there's probably some user-created stunt races and survivals that are going to be way better than what Rockstar has to offer. Maybe they'll surprise us. We'll just have to wait and see. I think that we'll probably be getting a new property to purchase for underground car shows. That way, you no longer have to worry about the pesky cops or other players uh, coming by with uh, rocket launchers or grenades blowing up the car show, or worse, like, you know, laser jets, attack helicopters, broomsticks, orb cannons. So I think that's going to happen. I feel like the high stakes, high action definitely has a Grand Theft Auto feel and vibe to it, whether it's going to be uh, new contact missions or something you can do in free roam, or basically a, a sequel to import export that remains to be seen, but that does entice me a little bit. I hope that the new batch of vehicles they add to the uh, summer update will be better overall than what we got with Cayo Brico because the only one I really liked was probably the Torador and the Sparrow. I think those are the only much, two I like. Yeah. Yeah. You I'll, like the Alkanos. I'll, I'll put the Alkanos on the list, but everything else, mm -mm, yeah, just not worth it. So yeah, they definitely do, need to do a better job with the vehicles that they end up adding to the summer update for GT Online. And hopefully they add something for everybody. Like I mentioned, you know, there's some pilots that would like a new fighter jet rock star, a new attack helicopter, you know, something else as well. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Riley, tell everyone about your channel. Well, I just cover GTA dogfights, jets, helicopters. I also do Ace Combat 7. And I do a few live streams here and there on the month. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Pretty basic. And she's all about fighter jets and dog fighting for GT Online. She's also into, like she mentioned, Ace Combat. She might even be streaming some Ace Combat 6 in the near future. Just have to wait and see over on her channel. Plus, she has a little bit of Burnout for you over there. Some Burnout Revenge, Burnout 3, other content too, including a Detroit Become Human and more. So be sure and check out Riley's channel. Link below in the description section. Your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding all this information we went over regarding the GT Online 2021 Summer Update. 
content, what you would like to see, as well as your thoughts, views, and opinions regarding GTA 5 Expanded Enhanced coming November 11th to PS5, Xbox Series X, and S. As always, welcome below in the comments section.